Hey, what's up everyone? So today I wanted to talk about facing your fears. And I'm talking about a fear so intense that you just, you feel like that knot in your stomach, your heart's beating, you're sweating. You're really actually, actually legitimately just scared a little bit. It's, it's not even fear anymore. It's just pure terror, right? And so I think I can definitely comment on this matter and I'm going to tell a story why. Or actually, I'm going to go into several stories actually on it. But it's one of those things where I kind of mentioned my story on the fear of dying. And the thing about that is you have no choice but to act on that. But when you're put in a position where you do kind of have a choice in the matter of I can do something or can just choose not to do something and I'd be totally fine. When you do something, the feeling of empowerment you get from it is just, it's bar none. It, it's uncomparable because it, it lets the body know what it can really do. And when you can do that, it's unbelievably empowering. I'm telling you this. So if there's any fear that you have, let me tell you my story and hopefully it'll help you conquer it. So me being a fighter, there's, there's tears to fighting. So when I first started fighting, I was fighting on the loco shows. And I had a lot of people back out on the loco shows because it's that feeling of knowing you can legitimately get hurt. It's that feeling of knowing you can lose in front of people. And uh, as, as a loco show, the most you're gonna get is a couple hundred people. So it's not quite as intense as it could be, but it's there. Um, but then when you get to the big show, like UFC caliber, Bellator caliber, you're in front of hundreds of thousands of people. And the lights are in your face, and you're, they're, taping your, they're taping up your hands. And that's when you realize, like, I'm really getting ready to fight someone. And there's that part where you're like, do I have to do this? Do I, I could just walk away. I don't necessarily, I could lose. There's so many things going on in your mind that you can't, the breathing techniques, the just count backwards from five. I think Mel, Mel Gibbons talks about doing, she has a five second rule. The, there's nothing that makes that go away. It just, it can't go away. Every fighter feels it. And if a fighter tells you they don't feel it, they're lying to you because you're really getting ready to go to war with another killer. Like you're both killers in that ring when you're at that level. You know both of you have taken it serious. You've trained yourself to hurt another human being. So knowing that information and knowing you're, it's not even the going in with a killer because we're warriors like that. We have a warrior spirit, but the feeling of, the shame that you can have, the feeling of, man, I'm in front of a lot of people, the feeling of the lights coming in on you, the feeling of everybody's counting on you, the feeling of just having so many feelings at once. Like it, 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 there's a part of you that says, I don't have to do this. And you can't listen to that voice. You just can't. You go through with it. You do it. You're getting ready to go to war. And so when you, when you go out there, and the beautiful thing is that there is a ref, thank goodness, who's going to jump in and try and save you. Not every ref's the best ref. I'm not going to go into detail on that, but at least you have a ref. Like I'm talking about going to war, but at least no one's going to die in there, hopefully. Sometimes that does happen. It, it's rare, thank God. But hopefully you're not going to war where kids aren't coming back. You know, that's the worst kind of war, and hopefully we can, as people come together, get rid of that altogether. But back to my story, it's just, it's terrifying, that feeling that you get. And so you do have the option of just not doing it. You have that choice. So as you're getting your hands taped up, and you're getting ready to go, and in your mind you're like, this is really getting ready to happen. And... You go to walk out on the stage and your music's playing and you're feeling it like the real the real feeling of this is about to happen and you're trying to keep your at least this is me personally I try and keep my calm 
I try and breathe deeply. You can watch some of my fights and you can watch my walkout and they actually call me uh, kind of stone-faced. I'm one of those guys who just maintains my intensity because I'm, I'm controlling my body. Like my body wants to go haywire, but it's those moments of, that's when you really get tested. You know what I mean? Like I, I appreciate every walkout I've ever had because it tests you and it strengthens you every time. So I've gotten a little stronger after each fight just because I remember the feeling. The more you remember the feeling, the more you can control it and do your very best to focus in your energy on the job at hand. But you're walking out and in your mind, you, you, I try and keep my mind as clear as possible. So I try not to listen to anything, but there are little voices trying to come in like, you don't have to do this. Go ahead, go take it to go take his head off. Um, so you have voices on both sides kind of talking to you. And you go walk, you're walking, you're walking, and then you get in the cage. And there's that feeling of, all right, this is, this is happening. I'm in the cage, right? And you're kind of listening to your coaches. They're giving you those final things to think about. Watch out for this guy's right hand. He's got a mean right hand, or he's got a good left kick, or some whatever that particular person has. And then either you're in the cage first or your opponent's in the cage first. It's the same feeling anyway, so I'm not going to go into that. But you're both in the cage, and you're looking at each other. And now I'm talking about the highest level, where you know this guy has worked his ass off to beat yours, and you did the same thing. And the crowd is just blaring. Everything's going nuts. And uh, the ref's giving you the rules. You're watching each other intensely in the eyes because neither of you can back down. Uh, it's about, it's almost game time. So the ref says, are you ready? Then I see your opponent, is he ready? Let's do this. And then you go, and that feeling of euphoria, like when you first start going, because now your body's in action. That's the thing, fear, it's in our nature. It's going to be there sometimes. It's to keep us safe. But the best thing to do in fear is to act on it. And that feeling, there's not a better feeling than it. Like win, lose, or draw in a fight, as long as you know you put in the work and you can learn from your losses and you can also learn from your wins too, um, there's not a better feeling than that. That feeling of we're going. Now the body knows we're going. This is what, this is what you trained for. And everything just, it, co it comes in sync for me. I've never had... I've never had a fight where everything didn't come in sync. There was one in Russia, and I think it might have been the jet lag. But everything comes in sync because I know what I trained for. I trained for a specific purpose, and I'm going to do that purpose. So when I say fight through your fear or charge through your fear, train to get ready for the fears you're going to have. You can't just act on fear in and of itself because that's just as dangerous like if i'm going into a position that i know i knew i was going to go into and i didn't train and i didn't plan and i didn't prepare for it then it's my fault for what's about to happen but if i put my heart into it if i put my soul into it and i know look there's this specific date that i know something's going to happen so i have to train correctly to make it happen to my best advantage or do the very best that I can to put myself in the best situation that I could do it because it strengthens the mind it strengthens the body you become a better individual after it and things just don't get to you the same when you truly challenge yourself into a position to where it's like and you have to take action on the or you don't have to take action on the position you have the choice to walk away, but you don't walk away. You go through it, go through the wall, that wall of you can't get past me and you get past it. Nothing can stop you after that. So whatever fear you have, whatever doubt you have, whatever is stopping you from getting to your greatness, don't let it plan to get past whatever wall that you have because you'll be grateful for it and I'll see you on that side.
because I know the people I I you can feel it under them. The people who have got done it and the people who haven't done it. You can literally feel it on them. Um, I go to some entrepreneur meetings and I know the difference between the ones the ones who have and the ones who haven't. And everybody has the choice. And when you do it, you will not regret it. I'm telling you that right now. So whatever wall you have to go through, go through it. I hope you guys are having a great day.